Typhoon Hagabis is rapidly intensifying as it approaches the Mariana Islands this morning local time. With winds are estimate 80 miles per hour and a pressure of 985 millibars at 6 a.m. Shimoro time this October 7th. It's uh, ratcheted up another notch on the CDPS scale as well. We're looking at An Anatahan on October the 7th, CDPS Stage 6. Now, up from 5 yesterday, catastrophic damage is possible on some of these islands which are under warnings. Current position of the storm is 15.1 degrees north, 150.7 degrees east, intensifying substantially and it could well go all the way. Current distances, it's 332 miles now from Saipan, 337 from Tinian, 373 from Rota, 403 from Yigo on Guam and 411 also from Hagatna at this point. Typhoon warnings are in effect for Saipan, Tinian, Alamagan and Pagan Islands. Tropical storm warning for Rota and Agrihan and a tropical storm watch for the island of Guam. There's the storm's position, relatively speaking, there in relation to those islands. Rainfall expectations then over the next seven days. We could still see up to, or maybe even more than, 12 inches of rain, 300 millimeters, to fall on some of the islands, um, probably north of Saipan, but even on Saipan we're looking at several inches, and even on Guam now we could actually see two to three inches of rain on that island too. So generally it's going to deliver a lot of rain to all of the Mariana Islands along with those typhoon force winds the further north you go. Um, but certainly flash flooding will be another possibility as well. Surface temperatures ahead of the storm around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, a little patch of 30 towards its north. Um, so very warm waters ahead of Hagabis. And this is the current wind forecast. So uh, this is rather interesting. I'm not sure, based on the last forecast, it's fairly close to Saipan. I'm not sure whether it's drawn itself a little bit closer or not than the last forecast, but nonetheless, intensifies rapidly as it moves through those islands. I still think that the models are a little bit delayed on this as well. It will probably be turning into a major typhoon category three as it moves through those islands, and it will most likely reach category five status. 58% of models agree, and 92% of models develop this into a super typhoon by the end of the five-day period. Chances of tropical storm force winds then is probably the most useful number numerical tool at this point. 93% at Saipan, 92% at Tinian, 61% on Rota, 28 at Guam, and 37% now on the Daito Islands of Japan. Uh, again, the models probably a little bit lagging on this chart. Um, the calling for Category 4 in general, I think it will go a little bit further than that looking at the latest um, what's ahead of the storm. Look how low the wind shear is going to be, 10 to 15 knots all the way through day 5. Sea surface temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius, relative humidity is very good, 70% or so. Pretty much the same conditions that Typhoon U2 had last year. Here's the latest satellite imagery. Um, a big band extending up now on the western side which is going to pummel the Mariana Islands to will certainly be letting them know that the storm is on the way when that arrives in the next few hours. Behind that you've got the core of the storm itself which is still several hundred miles away from the islands and it is developing quite rapidly here ferociously um, and I think we could well see that eye start to pop out during the course of today. It's getting that look about it. Minus 80 cloud tops near the center at this point as well and we'll continue to keep you updated on this storm. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.